How's it going, Quebec? I want to congratulate you and all of Canada for surviving another garbage winter. I dubbed this last winter the winter that wouldn't fuck off. I'm sick and tired of March 21st when they tell us it's the first official day of spring. I don't know what country spring starts in March, but it's not Canada anymore. Your pagan calendar is wrong. We fool ourselves, we think it might happen. We get excited. The news said it's spring. Time to put away our sweaters. Take out our lighter sweaters. It's spring. <laughs> and it happens one day, a golden ray of sun breaks through the gray sky and we think it's here. Springtime is here, run outside, frolic. And once we get outdoors, fuck the wind! <laughs> we forgot about the wind back inside. My nipples are like diamonds, they're piercing my shirt. <laughs> Springtime has become Canada's deadbeat father. <laughs> For two months out of the year, we're standing on our front porch with our ball gloves on waiting for spring to come and take us to the park like he said he would. <laughs> but spring never shows up. Or he comes for a day, then fucks off for a week. <laughs> Either way, we're left standing in our front window like little orphan Annie. The sun will come out tomorrow. Come on, Sandy. To escape the winter, I went down and did shows in the States. I learned something down in America. There is a difference between Canadian and American foods. And that difference is Canadian food isn't actively trying to murder you. Everything in the States was insane. It looked like it had been dipped in batter, rolled in butter, and had a Mars bar hidden in it. <laughs> but the biggest difference between Canadian and American foods can be found in the cereal aisle of the grocery store. I don't know if you've been in an American supermarket recently, but Canada, as a nation, is getting screwed over on sugar cereals. They've got things we've never seen. <laughs> when I was down south, I counted four different types of Cap'n Crunch. Four. We have one. We have regular Cap'n Crunch, that's it. You know it and you love it. Red box, blue uniform, white mustache, it's the captain. He does not hold a naval rank of any kind. It's right there on the box. C-A-P apostrophe N, captain. That is a nickname at best. Actually, I guess here he's Capitan Krush. You guys gave him full honors. <laughs> Personally, I don't trust the French side of the box. I don't understand why sounds are different in French. You tell me that now I'm in Quebec, if I bite into a biscuit, I'm gonna hear a crouche? I know what crunches are. You can go screw yourselves. If you've never had Cap'n Crunch, it's a delicious cereal that hurts your face. <laughs> Three main ingredients in that cereal are sugar, crack cocaine, <laughs> and fiberglass.
You eat a bowl of that cereal, it will shred the roof of your mouth like you are eating Brillo Pad cereal. <laughs> you are already pouring another bowl because you're addicted and you can't stop. <laughs> they have four. <laughs> Number one is also regular Cap'n Crunch. It would be weird if they didn't have that. Number two is peanut butter Cap'n Crunch. Yeah. Because in the United States, Cap'n Crunch doesn't give a shit about allergies. He's straight up murdering kids at breakfast. Third type of Cap'n Crunch is Cap'n Crunch with crunch berries. What the hell is a crunch berry? Forgive me, I'm not a botanist. I'm not familiar with the plant that gives off the crunch berry fruit. I can tell you it does not grow in a northern climate, as we do not have crunch berries in Canada. They only grow in the States, and not in enough abundance to share with the rest of the world. Which makes the fourth type even more infuriating because the fourth type is, oops, just crunch berries. <laughs> That's the name of the cereal. Captain Crunch, oops, just crunch berries. It's a box of crunch berries. There's no Captain Crunch in there. That means that their crunch berry surplus is so vast, <laughs> they're able to fill entire boxes with the stuff and then pass it off as an accident. We didn't even mean to make this. Now, I don't know when this crunch berry embargo was levied against our nation, but it's bullshit, and it is time for it to stop. I've already started a very angry letter-writing campaign to my member of parliament to lift this ban on crunch berries, because I believe it is my right as a Canadian to eat seven different colors and still just shit green for some reason. Because that is what happens when you eat a box of crunch berries. I have done the research. Thank you very much, Montreal. Have a great night.